Okay, good morning everybody and welcome to Sonic Sons Body Boost Series and with me today I have Kim, my trusted friend, to help with our modified versions of our routines. So it is suitable for most people. You can incorporate dumbbells, kettlebells if you wish into any moves where it's fitting to do so. Remember that if you're starting your new exercise program for the first time, you want to check with your GP first to check if it's okay. Your safety is first and foremost also. If you tire of a move, feel any pain or discomfort, you stop what you're doing. At any point you feel you want to take a drink and hydrate, then go ahead and do that. This is just to help keep us active at home for those that don't attend the gym or if they feel they want to do a bit more exercises at home before attending a local gym. So for now, we're just going to start up with a, just a short warm up. You choose your own music and we're just going to start with some high knees and a march. So today we're going to do some little rounds of four exercises. We're going to do 30 second intervals and we're going to do between 10 and 15 seconds rest. After each section, we're just going to take a moment or two to hydrate and relax and rest. And then we're going to move into our next move. So we're doing, going to do three sets of four exercises. So we'll take our arms up and out and to the side. And we'll punch across. Just keep with that march. Take our arms back for two. And we'll take them back up for two. And out for two. And out to the sides for two. And we'll punch it across for two. And pulse it back for two. And up for three. And out for three. Let's get the blood circulating. Help relax those muscles. And punch across for three. And one more. And if you want to take your knees a little higher, you can. And we'll take it back. And they should all be nicely warmed up and almost ready to go. So we're just going to pause there. And I'm going to come down to the floor. Kim is going to do the versions that are modified. So we're going to look at some leg lifts with a pulse of our arm. And a Russian twist. So our leg lift is going to look like this. We're going to come down. Our back is neutral. We're going to lift up our legs. We're going to pull in on the core muscles, pull in through your abdomen. And we're going to, as we lower our legs, we're going to pulse the arms. And then we're going to lace them back up around that 45 degree. And as we lower, we're going to pulse. Our next move is we're going to come to a sit. And again, you can tap from side to side. We want to work those obliques. Or if you feel more comfortable and more advanced, you can raise up your legs. And this is one that you could introduce a kettlebell or a dumbbell. From there, we're going to come back down. And again, we want that nice flat back. Pull in on the abdomen, pull in on the core. We're going to take our arms out wide and our legs and we're going to come up and we're going to come up to a floor jack. So that's part of our three moves and with that we're going to come round and we're going to come into a mountain climber. So again you can take your legs across or you can take them out to the side whichever you prefer and then we're going to rest. So when we're ready, I'll give you a moment and we're going to go with leg lifts. If anything, Kim is going to do a modified version and it might be a little different than what we're doing, but that's okay. So when we're ready, I'm going to set the clock and off we go. So don't forget, engage that core. Don't let your legs touch the floor. We 
remember to breathe in and out. People can forget to breathe. And keep it going. And last one. And there we go. We're going to come up to our next position. And we're ready. If you want to take your weight, you can. We're going to get ready. We're going to cross our legs and we're going to go into that Russian twist. So uh, two and off we go. And that side tap. And remember, try and pull in on those core muscles. We want to be working the obliques. And this is going to be firing up your heart rate. And we're doing good. We're into those last seconds. And three, two, and one. And recover. So we're going to breathe her out. We're going to come down. And we're going to get into our position. Ready for our floor jack. We'll take her arms back. Pull down on that core. Bring the belly down. And off we go. For those people that want to do a more advanced, you can do it as a, as a V up. So you can be coming up with both legs at the same time with the arms. You want to feel like you're working this whole core. Okay, we're going to come down and we're going to turn it around. And we're going to go into our mountain climbers. So again, if you want to take this slow or fast, that choice is going to be up to you. We get that position, our shoulders, elbows all in alignment, and off we go. So you can take the knees wide, you can keep the knees in, or you can cross your knees. So whichever you want to do. And keep it going. And if you want to do these like a sprint, you can. And there we go, that's round one complete. So we're just going to have a little rest, have a drink. We'll just walk it out. You did a good job. Now we can do these rounds from anything from three to six times. It all depends on your own fitness level. So our next set we're going to look at is we're going to do Work some of our glutes and our thighs. So I'll just demonstrate them for as well. You're having your recovery, and I think myself as well. So we're going to come down to the floor. Our feet flat, our spine neutral, our shoulders flat down, arms at the side. And we're going to raise up through the hips. And we're going to squeeze on the glutes. We're going to come down and back up. And we're going to keep this going for time. Now, if you want to do it more advanced, as you come up, you can do this with one leg. And remember, keep your shoulders nice and flat down on the floor. And squeeze those glutes at the top. From there, we're going to come on to our side and again you can choose to lay your head on your shoulder your everything in alignment and raise up the legs our other version is you can come up onto your elbow and again your shoulder and your elbow in alignment and raise from that way and for those that are even more super strong, we can come up and you can bring up your hip and we can come to a full. So we've got a few options there. We will switch sides while we're down. On that elbow, we're going to bring the leg across and we're going to lift the inside leg. And we're going to repeat this and we'll be going both sides. So 
while I re-twiggle my mic before we get ready. And then we're going to go into our higher intensity move is we're going to do some burpees. So we're going to come down into that squat. We're going to jump the legs back. We're going to jump the legs back to that squat and jump up and back down and out and up. So that's our burpee. So I think we've hydrated enough and rested. We're going to get ready to go. Okay, so I'm going to come back down into that bridge. Okay. And off we go. That squeeze at the top. Kim is going to stand and as she stands, she's doing a thrust through the hips and squeezing the glutes. So again, keep your shoulders nice and flat on the floor. You want to be squeezing in those glutes, and those quads, and also your core. And here we go. So we're going to move. We're going to come into that side position. Again, if you're on your shoulder and elbow, all in alignment. And we're going to go with those raises. So again, try and hold the core strong. We're going to be working through the outer thigh and the hips. And keep it going. We're coming into the last 10. We're doing a good job. And two and one. And we're going to take the leg across. And we're going to be going into the inside to work our insides of our thigh. So again, get that nice position, that nice form. Cross that leg over. And up we raise that leg. Now Kim is doing an upright version and she's including a slight curtsy lunge with her move. And we'll pass the halfway. Come up to those last five seconds. And then we're going to repeat this and we're going to do it on the other side. Here we go. We're going to switch it around and we're going to work the opposite leg. I might have my back to you for a little bit if I don't keep losing my stuff. Okay. So again. Your elbow and shoulders stacked on top of one another. And the body in alignment. And again, you go within your range of motion, your flexibility. And there we go. So we're going to bring the leg across. And we're going to get into that position, ready for those inside lifts. Okay, in three, two, one. And up we go. So everybody has a different flexibility range. So you do what is comfortable for you. We don't need to overstretch. We do want to think about the form. We want to think about the muscles that we're trying to use. And last one, and we're going to bring it round, and we're going to come up for those burpees. In three, two, one, and off we go. I remember once upon a time I couldn't do these. Now I'm feeling a little better for being able to do them. Now this will fire your heart rate up, will get your metabolism going, help burn that fat. And remember that nutrition plays the biggest part. 
And there we go. And take that relaxing break and recover. So with a combination of body weight exercises, our cardio, nutrition is 80%. Your exercise is the other 20. So all the different tools that we use, such as adding some weights, the dumbbells, the kettlebells, they're just extra props that makes our exercises more exciting. So, our last section, we're gonna do Another kind of full body, a bit of stabilizing, a bit of core activation, a bit of balance. And still working on some of the thigh and the glutes. So I'll run through what we're going to do. I'm going to come down. I'm going to be knees and hips at 90. I'm going to bend my shoulders and elbows all in alignment with a slight look. And we're going to alternate a leg and an arm. So this will also help engage these core muscles as well and some balance. So from that move, we're going to look staying in our same position and we're going to take the leg out to the side. So for those that are exercise savvy with moves, this is known as a, a fire hydrant. So again, you want to look at pulling up on that core muscle. Our next one is we're going to pulse the leg. And lift up, pulse the leg. So again, we're going to be working the glutes, the quads and the core. And our cardio section is we're going to come up, we're going to come down and we're going to walk it in and walk it out. And this one is called an inchworm. So you go as far as what is comfortable for you. So when we're set and ready, we're going to look at starting that clock and we're going to go back ready for our next round of four. So again, these rounds, you can do all these exercises around three to six times. So we want to go into that beard dog at 90 degree, that flat back, natural curve. Try and pull in your core. Pull your belly button up. And keep it going. And there we go. So from there, when you get ready, we're going to go into our fire hydrant. So again, we get your position. At 90 degree. And out to the side. And we keep it going. 10 more seconds into those last few and we're going to switch to the opposite side. So we're going to take out from the other side now. And into the last two. And we're going to relax it out. And then we're going to go for that pulsing of the leg up. And we'll come down, we'll assume our position. Again, that 90 degree. And we take the leg up and pulse and back down. So again, we still want to look at pulling in on those core muscles as we concentrate also with our breathing. So we're just going to keep going on this side and then we're going to Switch for our seconds on the other side. 
we'll just come back, we'll sit it out. And then we're going to come back forward into our position. So again, pull up on those core. Try and keep that 90 degree. And we're going to go with the opposite leg. So our arms, the elbows and shoulders are in line. A little pulse at the top. We should be having a bit of work in the quads, our arms supporting our body. And last one. And there we go. So we're going to sit her out, we're going to come up, and we're going to get ready for those inchworms. So, again, this is another cardio to help bring up the heart. We're having a whole body movement. Up. And back down we go. Keep it going. Everyone's doing a great job this morning. I hope everyone's keeping well. I'm trying the best. And there we go. And we'll rest it out. Good job, everyone. That's round one complete. Now, if you'd like, you can continue that whole routine up to three to six times or whatever you feel comfortable with. So we will just do a few little stretches just to cool it out. So we'll just start with a few of those little stretches and little holds. So anytime you want to contact Becky at Talil, any feedback, any ideas that you have exercises or areas you'd like to see, then feel free to drop them a line. I'm more than happy to try and create a few varying videos. As I like to say, we all fit well and healthy together, is my little hashtag. Supporting our community, helping to try and maintain an active lifestyle is very important. And never exercise over your range of motion and Try and overstretch. And if you're with the physio or an OT or any other specialist and you feel you might want advice, then seek their advice before starting your exercises. There could be certain exercises they don't recommend you to do, especially, you know, if you're pregnant, they could give you quite a lot of modified exercises. So that safety aspect is always important. So we'll just have a, a little shake out and a, a little march out and hope everybody enjoys the rest of the day and thank you for joining in. So as I say, any feedback to Becky at Talil is welcomed. Any improvements or any changes? It's the only way we can help improve on what we're working on to achieve, promoting that active lifestyle through exercises and just not our daily routine of life, our daily chores, our functional activities. And there we go. Thank you, everybody. Enjoy your day. So it's bye from me and bye from Kim. And see you next time.